Hello, welcome to the last video of the week. Today for Thursday specialty, one of the special decks that I'm going to be trying to specialize in, of course, is PNLR. So I want to improve my skills in this deck and keep it going forward because I think this deck is relatively competitive for the Pioneer format. And I wanted to have X, like three competitive lit, competitive specialties and then, uh, you know, off some off ones like Abzan Midrange, Dinosaur, stuff like that. I want to specialize in them trying to get them to a optimal build. So at least if you follow my channel, at least these decks you could play in a competitive event and probably do quite well. So now we're going to get to the last deck of my long recording of this week, of today. So I did record the last two, so today. So uh, make sure you check them out. Uh, so today, the last one I'm, I record, I'm recording t for this week, it, or should I say today, is... Pianolar. Pianolar. So the new card I'm trying out today is two copies of Entai. I think this is one of, I had it in my top 10 best card of the set. So I think, especially for pioneer purposes, even in standard, I think this card is insane. So, and the fact that it is a legend, I'm going to be trying it out later in another special list, um, Bar Quest. So if you want to see that, make sure you sub for that. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We got to 700 subs, but let's get to 1,000 together. And let's get into the deck list and see the deck in action. So, pretty stock so far. Like, we have Swift Spear, Mage, PNLR, three Bone Crushers. That, you know, that typically shows up in the quote-unquote mid-range version of PNLR. There is a little bit more mid-range, like upper scale. Uh, version, which I think is picking, going to be trying out uh, Quint uh, Quintus um, Quintorius Cond, but I am not going that way. I'm going a little bit of the lower to the ground mid range plan. You could call it like aggro mid range. This version, we have Chain to the Rock Showdown, three side, I mean, three main, one side. I don't necessarily want that many of them against stuff like aggro and stuff like that. They're best against stuff like other mid-range decks. So I, I kind of went only three copies. I cut a Kamuno for an Entai. And I cut I think I cut a Bone Crusher for an Entai. And I really want to be able to try this list out with Entai in it. Sideboard, we have Alpine Moon for Model Green and uh, uh, Lotus Field. Three Volleys for Fang, uh, Mono White, quote-unquote Humans, and Spirits. Two Get Lost to answer Shieldred and other decently sized threats. Get Planeswalkers and enchantments, quite important. We have two invasions to help protect our threats against sweepers and hopefully push off Wraths, along with Redain for those matchups. Two Rest in Peace for graveyard hate strategies like Phoenix, Fang. We have one Showdown of the Skulls, more on the board. So we can maybe cut Kamuno, go a little bit up on the top end against something like Midrange. And then we have a Jengatha in the board because it's a free roll, so why not play it? That is PNLR for Pioneer. Let's get into this deck and see the deck in action. Stomping Ground, tapped, passes, Firing Vantage, Kamuno, Sego, Coppoline Gorge, Raptor. Oh, okay. Mountain, Sego. Okay, I've seen Kit here and I thought this was control. Mutavolt, Hammer Skull. That is a problem. All right, stomp the face. If I would have known this was dinosaurs, I would not have kept the uh, showdown. Take it. Chain of the Rock seems really good. Flips, play a Sacred Foundry untapped. Play Bone Crusher, say go. Strangle to Bone Crusher. Lair, goes to combat, attacks. I can't really do anything about it. Play a Tap Land. Ren's Resolve, all these ding showdowns. All right, Swifty, go block, pass the turn. All right, plays a new dinosaur. I'm assuming pays into it and has it deal damage. And I have to chump here. So I'm taking four down to two. Oh, no, I'm just dead. Okay, dinosaurs doing some work against dinos. That doesn't do anything. I guess get lost in down to showdown. It just really does not do anything. Uh, play the fire. That's also a kind of iffy. Most of the stuff, most of the stuff are more than two toughness. So maybe I do keep the showdown and do a three, three split between the three cards that are bad in this matchup, but I have nothing that's actively good either. So 
run it like that, I guess. Play Vantage. Kamuno, say go. Stomping Grounds tapped. Passes. Play Soul Scar Mage. Tap land, say go. Den of the Bugbear. Strangles. Passes. So I think I have to Ren's Resolve. Play the land. Swifty. Hit you for three. Cavern of Souls. On Dino, of course. Hammer. Questions, do I chain? Soul Scar Mage. I think so. Eat the hammer. And then play with fire your face. Penal Art top. And smack. Forest. We might be getting this one. But he'd be on the play for game number three. Ripjaw Raptor. So I think I get lost. And attack. Got it. Run it back. Plays a den. Passes. Vantage. Swifty. Hit you, say go. Strangle. Tap land. Passes. Play a land. Pianolar. Say go. Strangles. Cavern. Yearling. Passes. Play hazard. Entai. Say go. Carplusion Forest. Watch him play Ripjaw Raptor. Iron Crag. I see. Hammer. All right. That could becomes a 6 2. Smacks me. We take it. First things first. Ren Resolve. We find a land. That works. So, next thing. Play Swifty. Chain to the Rocks. Eat the Hammer. Smack you. We will pitch a Soul Scar Mage. Put it on Swifty. We didn't. We, we can't use the Get Lost, but it's okay. Ezekiel's Chariot. And a Gate. I mean, in a Dino deck. Interesting. Hits me for three. Take it. Play Showdown. How do I want to do this? Do I just do Sacred Foundry tapped? I think so. I think I attack with. Do I attack with Swifty here? If I do, he becomes a 4 5. I pitch this mountain and give it trample. But the problem is, I take such a big attack back. 3 plus 4, 7. And I don't really want to exchange my anti. But if I don't, this just blocks the yearling. And if he draws any dino, like it literally just tramples over. I think I have to just attack, pitch this mountain, make it a 4 5. So that way it's better blocks next turn. We have this get lost I'm going to have to use. I just pray he has nothing to cast. I think if he casts anything that can crew this chariot, I lose. Is that a hammer? Yep. So that becomes a 6-2. I can't do anything about that. Now he just crews the chariot. 6 plus 10, yeah, and that's Zaxis. Man, dinosaurs. Clearly, they're the best deck in the format. So we die. 0-1? Oh Let's get into the next. All passes. Pathway on red. Kamuno, say go. Planes. Passes. So that upticks. Sacred Foundry untapped. Question is, do I want to play a penal or an anti? Play anti because I have two of them. And we just pass. Impulse. So this must be the uh, Azorius um, field deck. Farmland tapped. Strict Proctor. Passes. That flips. Attack. We will yield. Get rid of Swifty. And put the counter on Kamuno. Play PNLR. Play an untap land. Say go. End time's feeling really good in the shell so far. Hollow Fountain. I like the fact there's only a kind of a two copy thing. He does. He has yet to play a Lotus Field. Surprising. Attacks. Uh, will block. Play with fire. Is that them telling me they have nothing or do they have? Yep. Yeah, verdict. Seems good. Play end tie. Play a land. Say go. Pathway. Passes. We play with fire. Land to the bottom. Untap. Play Ren's Resolve. Marches. Play PNLR. Say go. Is that a lockdown? Three mana? Nope. Lotus Field. Teferi maybe? Nope. Deluge. So Ren's Resolve. Not a terrible top deck. Double Showdown. Hit ya. Okay. We go ahead and play with fire. A Swifty to the bottom. Untap. Play a Showdown. Play a Mountain. Kimuno. And hit ya. Do we take game one? You gotta march my Wandering Emperor. Okay. Eats PNLR. Takes three. Down to three. Narset. Go dig. Go digging desperately to find something. Because we have Exaxes. Another Narset. That's not gonna do it. Got game one. That's really good. Scoops up the whole match. Forest. Visitor. Passes. Vantage. Mage. Say go. Passes. Vantage. Go to combat. Attack. Takes it. Spike it. All right, got game one. So, I expect enchantment, so get lost. Down, play with fire. Seems good. I don't like that. Tap grove, passes. Vantage, mage, say go. Planes, okay. Makes it where we can't attack. Put that on red. 
PNLR, say go. Ro Roaring Earth passes. Swifty, Swifty, play with fire. Bottom, hit you for six. Plays the planes, passes. We play Restless, Vault, uh, Resolve, go to combat. Hit you for six, down to six. Plays a little Death Toucher. Mika choose Rain of Truth. Pumps it. You gonna play? You gonna play a land and pump it? Okay, that's actually quite relevant because it gets it out of Bone Crusher range, which is what I'm hoping was hoping to win. But I guess I just Bone Crusher the face and hit him, and I guess that doesn't work either. This gains him life. It's gonna be a one. Okay, I guess double Bone Crusher stomp is a thing, and we win. Hit ya. So we'll count the the mat, the game against the control player as a game win. I mean, he scooped relatively early game one here, and then he got this this one. So. One and one with the deck. Let's get into the next. Pathway on white, say go. Prairie stream, passes. Forge, say go. Pathway on blue. Shredder, passes. Mountain, chain to the rocks. Soul scar mage, say go. Consider, passes. Ren's resolve. Pathway on red. Swifty. Hit you for three past turn. Charter course. Mentor. Pitched. Island. Passes. Play Sacred Foundry untapped. Play Showdown. Go to combat. Hit ya. We'll play with fire your face. Shredder. Helping hand. Get back to Mentor. That's kind of a sweet little synergy. Gets rid of a get lost. That's a little daring. First things first. Play the PNLR. Put it here. Play Advantage. Make a 1-1. One, one. Chain to the Rocks. Put it on the Thopter, I guess. He does get to Connive, which is a problem, but we're going to get rid of the Shredder. And of course, we're here to play Entai, so we'll play Entai. Put it on, I guess, Swifty. Attack. We will pitch. I guess a Play with Fire. Got it. So against a this kind of deck, Volley seems decent. Down a Play with Fire. Play with Fire. And a Play with Fire. I don't like that. That Vantress passes. Mountain. Soul Scar Mage. Say go. Pathway. Shredder. Go to combat. Hit ya. Vantage. Chain of the Rocks. Say go. Consider. Hollow Fountain. Untapped. Eats my threat. Passes. Play PNLR. Play a Tap Foundry. Say go. Considers. Puts it on top. Planes. Passes. Showdown. That resolves. Okay. So I don't really want to attack into open Wandering Emperor mana, so we're going to pass. Okay, gets back a Shredder and Canise with an Opt. A Mentor, Hollow Fountain, no attacks. Swifty, Swifty. Keep putting it on the Nalar, I guess. I get it, he Canives. I don't think I can Muno here. I think I Rin. Try to find a land. All right, Sacred Foundry untapped. Play Kamuno. I guess put a counter on a... Swifty, that's a 3-5. Do I attack into this? Could have a get loss, but if he did, it wouldn't he do it a long time ago? So I think I'm safe to attack with PNLR, but I think that's it. Okay, considers. So he can make a 1-1 one, one prowess token. Does he go for a double block here? That seems bad, yeah. It seems better to just use your monk as a chump blocker. Pass the turn. Tap tall, passes. Swifty, pump Swifty. Reckless Impulse, pump the team, may disappear. Okay, makes a prowess token. I think it makes more sense to pay. Play the advantage. Make another 1-1. One, one. How do, okay, if I attack right now, how does this work out? This is a 3-5, three, 3-3. Three, three. This is going to get blocked. This is going to get blocked. And there's no profit blocks on the more important creatures. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, maybe 10. I think I just wait one more turn. Watch him have a Wrath. Swings? Take it. I guess that probably means he has a Wrath. Lockdown. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so Soul Scar Mage, Kimono, Impulse, Stomp, Vantage, Sega. Gets plays Helping Hand, gets his threat back. We go to Stomp it again. He does not have enough turn on Hall. Pathway on Red, play a Bone Crusher, play a Bone Crusher, attack, pass the turn. Scries too. Okay, Planes, not a good top deck. So he has a hole. Blocks here. Takes five, maybe a little bit more. No, this flips too. See if he can't win this turn. Impulse, Mountain, Showdown. Got it. Two and one. Let's get into the wrap up. So what did we learn this week about this deck? Overall, we did a decent job. Uh, I do think this deck is just as good as 
Actually, it's probably better than the deck that I featured earlier this week, uh, which which was um, Waste Knot and Skeleton's Budget. But if you have not seen those videos, go check them out. Uh, it's quite nice that the deck is under $100 for Skeletons. If you like the Tribe, of course, go, it'd be a good way to place to start if you want to make a Pioneer deck. At Thought Seizes, Fatal Pushes, the deck could actually be a decent deck. But yeah, this deck definitely overperformed better than some of the other decks this week. Uh, but I do think this deck is actually pretty relatively good. If you have any considerations, let me know down in the comment section. I am looking to uh, make sure this deck is as optimized as possible before I do my um, article on it. So any suggestions or help would be very much appreciated. Until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.